Hey guys, welcome back to another video. And today I'm going to be showing you how to automatically create and import take a lot invoices. So for those of you that are selling on take a lot, you've probably realized uh, or you are realizing that you need to upload invoices to take a lot for whenever a customer requests it. So you get a sale customer request invoice. Now you have to go upload that and you have like 24 hours to do it, uh, something like that. So it's very stressful and onerous uh, on business owners. And what a lot of people wanted to do was to automate it. So I came up with a solution and uh, yeah, basically it's going to automatically create the document and upload it to take loss you never even have to log in and check for invoice requests so how I'm doing this is I use a tool called make.com and I will show you it here on the screen this is what it's going to look like when it's finished throughout this video I'm going to show you exactly how to build it uh, so it's going to be a bit of a longer video but you can feel free if you're familiar with make this will be much much quicker uh, you'll just probably need a couple of the like specific endpoints um, if you're a developer you could probably cross use these develop these endpoints in your own type of like uh, automation tool or if you want to like code it from scratch that would also work um, if you are using make uh, or if you haven't got make make sure to use the link below to sign up that'll be very helpful and what you can do for those that want to take a shortcut um, everything that I've set up here can be imported with a blueprint uh, over here. I'm going to basically download, I'm going to basically have that for sale if you just want to support the channel and you want to take a shortcut and just load it in. But everything in that blueprint is going to be shown in this video. And yeah, uh, of course, this is an automation. So before you like set it loose in your organization, make sure to just like run it for a week uh, with the last uh, upload part disabled so that you can just see what's getting generated. You can tweak it, make sure it fits the requirements because take a lot, you can't edit the invoices once you've uploaded it, which is a bit frustrating. So uh, that's just my disclaimer. And yeah, let's jump in and have a look how this thing works. Uh, so what I've done is throughout the process, I've just got this last bit disabled over here, which will all make sense in a bit, but this is basically the upload to take a lot part. And then what we're going to do is click on uh, run once. This is just a variable holder and it's going to uh, store a lot of figures, figures like okay, primarily my take lock keys just so that I don't have to keep pasting it in and blurring it out and edit. Then I get all the invoice requests. If there aren't any requests, it's basically going to stop here and not do anything. Uh, if there are requests, then it's going to iterate through them. Uh, then each one will be treated as their own invoice creation process. We got to get the original order from take lot. Then we got to get more of the order details is switch those two around get more order details then get the original order from take a lot doesn't matter uh, then we're going to create a document from a template with google docs so that's free and then we're going to download it and then upload it to take a lot so how do we get this started from scratch we're going to have a new scenario get rid of this and if i'm looking this way a little bit it's because i have got my crib notes uh, on the right hand side there so first thing we're going to do is set multiple variables, I'm going to call it key, key, space, and then you're going to paste in your take a lot API key. Uh, that is available on the take a lot portal. And you can just take it here, paste it in and then click OK. Right, and then just click run this module once. And you can see that your details have come up over here. Then let's not forget to name it. Take a lot invoice creator and let's click save just quite frequently. Okay, so next thing that you're going to need to get is the, uh, it's called a HTTP and it's going to be called make a request. And a URL, you're just going to paste in this or type that in. And then under headers, authorization, and then key. And what this is gonna do is it's gonna look for any customer invoice requests that are open. 
and make sure to pause the response. So let's run this. Uh, uh, do you, uh, there we go. That would help if that is spelt correctly. And then here under data requests, you can see we have one invoice that's outstanding. If you have no invoices outstanding, this is not going to work. So wait until you have one um, that you can actually use, you know, so you can see the data coming through. And that is, you can see the request ID, the context ID created at, and so on and so forth. Uh, so we're going to use that context ID on the uh, later on just to get some more information. Uh, the next thing we're going to need to do is to have a what we call a flow control iterator that is going to iterate through these requests like that. Let's save anyway and just run anyway. It just doesn't like an iterator being at the end. So have a look what we've got here. So now every, in, let's say you had 10 invoices to do, you're gonna have 10 bundles over here. Next thing, we are going to want to have another maker request and that is gonna have a different parameter. So this is gonna be here, make a request. This URL is gonna go there and then you're gonna put the request ID after this. So it's going to look for that specific comfort customer invoice request with the request ID that we just got over here. Same headers. And key. Then make sure to pause the response. Okay, I'm going to save that. And we can run that and see what that looks like. Okay, so now I can see the line items. I can see the quantity, unit price, total, order number, order date, so on and so forth. And it is looking good. So we're making great progress. Okay, we're gonna do a, another HTTP module. Another make a request. Pretty much always just gonna be make a request. And type in this, and then put in your uh, order number that you got from the previous uh, previous module, just check that. Yes, that's from the previous module. And same headers. Spelling is not my forte. And make sure to pause this always. Cool. And now we can run this. And you will see we have the sales data for that order number. So the original, because I want to I want to date the invoice on this date over here, 31st of August. Okay, so then uh, we want to create a document and create a document from a template pop that in there. Make sure you, if, if you don't have the thing here, you're gonna have to go like add connection, sign in with Google, you'll like connect your Google account, pretty straightforward. Uh, then what we want to do is select by mapping. And then what you're gonna do is come to a document like this. Uh, this link is in the description. You can, you should be able to view it. And then you go file, make a copy. And then this one, don't try to use my URL here, it's not gonna work. So on your copy, on your drive, get this part of the URL over here. Uh, this is gonna be your template. Feel free to make this prettier, put your logos on, put a border, put a background on, but technically it doesn't really matter what it looks like because it's just at the end of the day there to serve a like KPI. Uh, make sure to put your company details in and then all of these fields are gonna be mappable. So we're gonna map them with information that we've pulled out of take a lot. So don't change any of these, just change everything around it if you need to or want to. Your phone number, your website, uh, your VAT, but that's not gonna change. So keep that, uh, keep that fixed. Okay, so you've got this document over there, document ID. 
And then this is where it gets a little bit uh, tricky. And I'm gonna, you're gonna have to pause this video as you're going through it, but I'm gonna be doing a bit of pasting here. So invoice number is going to be the context ID. Then I'm gonna add another item called date. And that is going to be from order date from this one. So you can see which one is coming from based on the, um, based on the numbers. So that would be, if it's coming from there, it's there. Okay, because some are gonna come from here, some are gonna come from here. Then it's going to be customer name. It's gonna be coming from here. Customer message is gonna be coming from here. Uh, quantity, Q, TY, don't make it QTY like this, just QTY as I'm doing it. That's going to come from here. Then we're going to have description. Should not be trusting my spelling at this point. Then we're going to have uh, VAT. Uh, for that, what we're going to do is we're going to use the total times 0.15. Uh, technically, if you're not VAT registered, you may have to tweak this a little bit, right? Um, unit price is next, and that is going to be from here. Then we have total and I'm just going to just be the total like that and we are nearly there this is a tricky one business underscore name I'm going to pull up a notepad and I'm going to put customer name over here I'm going to highlight it copy it paste in there, change this to business name, copy this back, and paste it over there. It's just because this business name, there isn't a business, this customer didn't put their business name details in there. And title is gonna just be, you can like call it whatever, but I'm gonna just reference it that, and then I'm gonna choose where to put it over there and click OK. Then, well, let's see if that creates a document. OK, it is finished. It's created it. I can open it. And I can see all my details have been populated. Right, so Excellent. Now we want to uh, download a document. We just want it to be from my drive, that document ID, and let's download it as a PDF because this is how we're going to upload it now into TakeLot. Then uh, we are going to do a make a request. And that is going to be like this, except here you're going to have request ID. Right, then change this to post. It's the first time we have done that. Then authorization It's going to be key. Then there's a couple other headers. And this might not be, I mean, it works. But as some of you guys know, I'm not from a strictly coding or technical background. I'm actually an accountant. 
uh, what you call an accountant gone rogue, um, because we should just be doing journals and stuff. But here I am. So anyway, field. Uh, this is going to be a file, and then the key is going to be called invoice, not invoice, not invoice, just small letters invoice. And then select download that document and we want to parse this response and select OK. What you should do as well is put in or just right click here and go add a router and then right click there and click disable root and then I'm going to save this. OK, so I'm going to run that one more time. So I'm not uploading it right now. Uh, because it's just uh, while I'm doing it live, I would just do it like this. So, and this is how I recommend you guys run it as well for the first week or two. Run it like this. At the end of the week, come check this folder that's been created. Look at the invoices, look at what you uploaded and check that it matches. As with every automation, you have to validate your automation first before letting that thing loose uh, in your organization because take a lot is quite strict and I've told you uh, there once and that is it I'm not gonna harp on about it anymore cool so that is basically the gist of it what you need to do now is turn this on so that it's gonna run and it's gonna carry on looking for those don't run it every 15 minutes let's run it like once a day once a week no once a day minimum every day every day at a certain time um, and then if you wanted, you could even have it to this point and then you can just download it from there. You could also do a Google Drive um, and then upload a folder so that you have that PDF ready so you can just have the invoice be created and then you can manually upload it just to make sure it's the right thing. Um, what you could also do is connect your ERP system and then pull this like straight out of Zero, Sage or... or um, Pull it out of Zoho Inventory, whatever you're using, De uh, Deer is the one I was looking for, and whatever its new name is. And yeah, that's basically going to run, do all the work for you, and you won't have to upload invoices again. So bear in mind, this is constantly changing. I do feel like there are some there's a lot of room for error. It's a pretty new automation that I've uh, worked through. I'll probably be changing some stuff. And uh, if you guys notice anything that's not working, just leave it in the comments and uh, I'll try I'll try update it. I can't guarantee it, but uh, maybe in a year's time I'll do a, a refresher. And we can basically, yeah, just, uh, just leave any tips that you guys have come across and we can make sure that we all work on this uh, together. So guys, uh, if you learned something, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. Uh, it does help support the channel. Um, for those of you that are going to just download the blueprint and uh, pay for it, feel free. I'll email you some instructions, maybe a video how to set it up exactly. But it's pretty straightforward. All of these fine settings are, are done. You just have to connect to your Google account and put in your API key on the front and everything will work from there. So guys, uh, till the next video. See you guys soon.